Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling because it's Chinese New Year time. I thought that I should get into the superstitions uh, about the Chinese New Year because there are a lot of different traditions during this time. The Chinese New Year is um, officially running 15 days until the Lantern Festival, which um, closes uh, the Chinese New Year. So during these days, I know a lot of Chinese people, they can't stay away from work for that long, but that is like the official length of the Chinese New Year. Anyways, the first part of the video, I'm going to talk about the things you cannot do on the first or the second day of Chinese New Year because it's gonna bring bad luck to you. So guys, the first thing you cannot do on the Chinese New Year day is that you can't take medicine because if you take medicine, your illness is gonna turn into a long time thing according to traditional Chinese superstitions. Uh, also, you should not eat porridge. The second thing is you should not eat porridge on uh, for breakfast the first morning because porridge was associated with poverty before and if you eat that, um, you're kind of gonna ask to be poor. So don't do that. If you have the opportunity to not do it, then don't do it. The third thing is that you should not not, not wash your hair because hair is called tofa and fa tai means a fortune or to become fortunate or to become wealthy. and Fa tai fa and tou fa the fa fa is the same fa. So if you're washing your hair, you're also washing away your fortune, washing away your wealth for a year. That's not cool, right? So don't wash your hair. A good excuse, I think, to not wash your hair that day or the second day as well. <laughs> Number four is another good excuse if you're being a little lazy because on the two first days of Chinese New Year, you should not sweep your floor and you should not clean because if you do that you kind of like sweep away all your uh, wealth <laughs> for the next year so don't do that also um, a lot of Chinese people don't um, take out the trash during the first or second day because that is also a bad thing to do <laughs> um, another funny thing the fifth one is that women cannot go outside on the first day of Chinese New Year because that is bad luck and also if your child is crying tell it to stop because that is also bad luck and if you're married and with your man and his parents somewhere you shouldn't go back and see your parents on the first day of Chinese New Year because then you're gonna bring bad luck back to your parents oh my god are you guys tired cuz I'm kinda tired <laughs> these superstitions are oh, for Christ's sake <laughs> Okay, so that was like on the first day of Chinese New Year and the second day. This is like in general on the during the Chinese New Year celebrations. So one thing is the first thing. Let me just continue. It's easier with one, two, three, I think. <laughs> the first thing is that you should not break any dishes because that's bad luck. The second thing is that you should not play with scissors or knives because an accident might also cause, um, you know, bad luck and less wealth and yeah you don't want that to happen, right? <laughs> also, the third thing is that you cannot kill things, um, including animals during the Chinese New Year because that's also bad luck. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so much, so many things about bad luck. Like when I did research for this, I just kept going like bad luck, bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. And I'm just like, oh my god. Misfortune, bad luck, and no wealth. That's the three things for all these things, all the things you shouldn't do. You should also not wear black or white during those days. My chi power is black, I just realized. Great, yeah. I'm asking for bad luck already <laughs> and I'm not going to be rich in 2017. Damn it. I'll, I bought it now, you know. There's no time to get a new one. Mm, maybe I should just try to become rich in 2018. Then. I graduated in 2018. It makes more sense to be rich in 2018. <laughs> Okay, the fifth thing is that you should not lend or borrow any money during Chinese New Year because that could create like a crazy debt. 
like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like when I say this, it sounds really stupid. Because like, if you borrow a lot of money, I think it doesn't matter if it's Spring Festival, Chinese New Year, or whenever you borrow money, <laughs> you're always gonna create some kind of debt. But like, borrowing or lending money during that time will probably just make it a huge thing, if that makes sense. So, also, don't do that! And don't cry! Don't cry during Chinese New Year as well, because, well, don't cry in general. But like, don't cry during that time, because that's also going to bring bad luck to you. That was number six, by the way. Sorry, I forget the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> um, number seven is that don't play around with odd numbers. <laughs> I'm one of those people who don't like odd number, odd numbers in general, but during Chinese New Year you should just not do it at all. So don't do that and don't play around with unlucky words as well. Like don't say death, because that then it's just gonna cause death. That's another one. Number eight. And the last thing, a number, no, I can't do it. Because there were eight, I shouldn't stop with nine. That's bad luck. Because <laughs> it's Chinese New Year. Oh my god, and all the things I said, I said the bad words and I did... Oh, Christ. I'm going to be unlucky during 2017. I can feel it already. Anyways, I should work harder then. <laughs> That was all of the superstitions that I have heard of. It's probably not all of them out there and I assume the Chinese people celebrate differently in different countries with different, different superstitions. So please let me know in the comments below about the ones that you know about and let's talk about it. I am really excited to hear from you. Um, also just want to make a disclaimer, Chinese people here in like Beijing, like my friends, they're not being superstitious but their parents, grandparents might be, especially like in the countryside, smaller towns around China and places like that. Um, but yeah, in China, Chinese, in, in mainland China right now, Chinese New Year is more just a family get together, people go home and relax and play their phones and watch some TV. <laughs> um, but please let me know how you guys celebrate in your country and let's have a talk. Ling Ling is out, though. This video is a disaster. I'm sorry guys for it being so messy. More oh, messy than my hair. Great. Great. <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day evening wherever you are in the world. Ling Ling is out. See ya and zai jian. Bye bye.